oral argument in an actual case, and students from Maui got to watch. Chelsea Davis has more. Today, the Lahaina Luna High School gymnasium was transformed into a courtroom, and students got a front row seat. An educational experience like no other, where the classroom becomes a courtroom. It was a great opportunity, especially coming from Lanai. We don't really have much opportunities, let alone a Supreme Court case. I think it was very awesome for my fellow classmates and I, as well as the seniors. I think it was a great opportunity to watch and experience and learn from. My favorite part was just kind of like listening to the arguments that both sides had and like really like getting down into what the judges were thinking like with like language and you don't really have the opportunity to actually like see like government processes, especially as a younger person. Students from Lanai, Molokai and various Maui Island schools watched as lawyers argued an actual case in front of the full five member Hawaii Supreme Court. Yeah, I could talk about the rule of law until I'm blue in the face, but when you actually see it, when you see the court asking questions, tough questions of both sides, I think it builds confidence in the system. I think it shows people it's a system that has integrity, that's designed to get at the truth. The program, Courts in the Community, was implemented back in 2012. Over the decade, the justices have been at high schools all across the state. It went virtual during the pandemic. Now it's back in person for the first time in three years. Educators say the lessons learned here go far beyond what a textbook can teach. The biggest thing to me is just what a what a unique experience it is. Um, uh, most people will never get to step foot inside a courtroom at all, let alone uh, the state Supreme Court, let alone have them come to them um, and get to actually witness it live and in person. The goal is to educate or inspire students to pursue a career in law. Reporting in Lahaina, Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.